I just feel like, I don't know, maybe it's the news I watch, <laughs> what I'm reading online, all of it, but everything from interest rates, housing markets, inflation, like, I just feel like there's so much heightened, almost anxiety just around money and the uncertainty and even like Russia and Ukraine, like the whole thing, right? Like people are like nervous about that and that inflation is going to skyrocket if Russian, like, there's just a lot of, um, anxiety i feel like well, there's around. a lot of negative news about the economy and about the state of affairs when it comes to finance yeah and and so yeah there should be some, so how do you incur like what's there, your there should be some anxiety around that because um, you because see inflation continuing to rise and like all I, that like well i don't i don't see inflation continuing to rise like it has been because this is a different kind of inflation than the jimmy carter era yeah um the 70s and the early 80s and but so, even if russia anything with like i don't know uh, any that, other global I, I, mean, I don't think that's going to change our lives you know 20 years from today yeah but um be shocked if it does but the uh but all the uncertainty that's in the air and the pressures on the market are all it's kind of a perfect storm there's a whole bunch of bad stuff happening right at this moment mm -hmm. um and it's all kind of camouflaged or covered over by the fact that people are making more money yes because there's this shoot up in incomes and and there's a shoot up in personal debt credit card debt's yep. the highest credit card debt on uh since like 2007 mm. this year in 2021 it's it's out of control spending people are spending their brains out yep. out there and so what these kinds of economic indicators end up doing is we end up having some kind of problem with their overall the economy that does affect your life unless you're the third pig and yep, so yep. the way you handle the anxiety of the negative news about that you know not not taking any of it to the extreme where you think that oh the world's coming to an end because it's not not on any of these issues but uh but but you do know okay i'm concerned i'm not freaked out i'm concerned well concern's good because that makes you get ready for the storm i'm mm -hmm. afraid there's a storm coming yep. i don't really think i'm going to hit both a tornado but i'm going to prepare and act like you know, <laughs> you know we're going to act like we're going to act like you yeah. know that we're going to have some good sense we're not going to stand out in the yard and look for it right and so uh the third pig means that's the third pig and the three little pigs that built a brick house and that means you get out of debt you have an emergency fund you have a budget you start to build some wealth and when you don't have any debt you have a pile of money and bad things happen in the economy it doesn't affect you yep nearly as bad as if you have no money and you're deeply in debt it destabilizes everything yep. so yep. I I never want to call have fear be the motivator. I want hope to be the motivator. But if you are feeling anxious, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are, about some of the economic indicators, let that be your motivation to get your crap together. Oh my gosh! Yep. This is your call. Hello. You know, I mean, that's really what it is. Yeah. You know? Well, and giving, and that gives people a sense. That you can control what you can control, right? Like what's going on in your house. Those are variables you can control. Yes. It's focusing on that and all this and, other stuff that and, you just can't, you can't. If you think the Republicans are going to save your life, you're wrong. And if you think the Democrats are going to save your life, you're really wrong. I mean, it's just not going to happen. You know, they're, they're, yep. I've been doing this. I'm old and I've never gotten anything out of Washington except trouble. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just trouble. They don't bring anything good to me. So, and that's not just being anti-government or something. It's just, it's called personal responsibility. I'm an adult and I'm responsible for my future. Joe Biden, thank God, is not responsible for my future. Or a Republican Donald president. Donald Trump, no. thank God, yes, is not responsible yes, for my yes. future. If I thought either one of them were in charge of my future, I would just be going, I would really have anxiety then. But thank God, I know they're not. So I can control the controllables in my life. I can keep my job. I can use that money to build my 401k. I can get out of debt, have the emergency funds, stay out of debt. I do not have to participate in panic purchases. Oh, God, it's going up. I got to buy six of them. Oh, geez, man. Come on. Just Extra just, cases of water, yeah. just in case. Hey, Y2K. <laughs> some of y'all are still sitting on that eight gallons of peanut butter from Y2K. And some of you don't even know what that is because you weren't born yet. Oh, but, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But anyway, not in the booth. The people in the booth all do know. But, hey, you got to be 22 years old or older. That's or weird. You don't That's know what, weird. What, you were not born. That's weird. That's Hello. weird. That's weird, yeah. So that makes, I'm usually feel young. I'm like the youthful one here on this show. So well, usually everything's, everything's these, a matter of comparison. All of these terms, <laughs> I'm usually like, I'm the one that's kind of out. But I actually now feel old. Yeah. That Y two K is. Yeah. How old were you in, in two thousand? In two thousand, I was twelve. Yeah. Okay. When the world almost came to an end. And y'all had a New Year's Eve party that year. We had a great one. <laughs> yeah, we served water. <laughs> <laughs>
What? <laughs> no, everybody was stockpiling water because oh, you were oh, going to oh, be able to get yeah. water. And you didn't drink bourbon back the then. Gri- the grid was going to be a. The grid was going to be off the line. We we're going to lose everything. We're you know all your I bank remember, accounts are going to be was, frozen. Yeah, hey, you did probably hold your breath for a little bit when it was like three, two, one. Ooh, what's going to happen? And then everything, all the lights stayed on, and we went right. Here on we our are, way. America. Here we go. Twenty-two years later. Yeah. Cheers. This is the Ramsey Show.